Well, Dana fought me for this segment, but I won. And so we're going to do it. It's about pro football, which I'm proficient with, and so is she. Uh, the uh, over 2,000 uh, former NFL players have now filed 85 lawsuits against the NFL for concussions received during their uh, years in the, uh, in the league. Uh, if you look at the average age of a football player versus the average age of an American uh, and, and take a look at what their average life expectancy is, an NFL player is 58. The average man is 76. I'm getting awfully close uh, <laughs> myself, so enjoy this if you like it uh, while it's here. Uh, haven't been through several of these concussions myself. One of the reasons is... That explains it, Bob? Well, it's a big part of How it. How many concussions have you had? Five. But the there biggest, the biggest uh, problem is that the, there are helmets that can be used that are thicker helmets that will help with concussions, not do away with them. But the NFL does not, A, insist on them, which they should. And a lot of players, I'll say this, the NFL, the players don't want to wear them because they're heavier and they think it slows them down. But this is an epidemic going on in football. And it's not just the NFL. It's kids in high school, kids in college. People are getting concussions and they're dying. And it's a serious issue, but the NFL wants just to make their yep. millions. All right, can I... Yeah, no, I, to ask, I was going to ask a great Well, I want to disagree with everything you said, and I believe a lot of it is wrong. Well, how could you disagree with those facts? Well, the, uh, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health have tracked nearly 7,000 players and found that NFL retirees were dying at half the rate of their American male peers. They also have a 59% lower suicide rate. They also live, generally, live longer in the latest data. The reason being, and this is what's mind-blowing, they have less heart disease and, and less cancer because of the healthy lifestyle that is brought on by playing football. Hmm. Football actually teaches you to be healthier, that, so the benefits outweigh the risks. Right. Unlike our job, which we sit here and do nothing and then have self-destructive behaviors made, the afterwards. The la last part of that made sense. The first part of it is just absolutely Check wrong. the Check the statistics. These are well, the these statistics. are facts. I just okay. got the facts from them. Go ahead. Your facts are wrong. Huge football They're fan. Mine. Played football, watched football, incessantly loved football. But here's the problem. The NFL Players Association is a union. They've got collective bargaining. They've bargained for what they have right now. If they don't like it, they can start over, break the collective bargaining. The fact of the matter is the owners are running businesses who are bound by this collective bargaining BS and the unions. Once again, when it doesn't work for them, they want to go and point fingers and sue everyone. They're wrong. Well, Break the union. The owners ought to then re reincorporate in Wisconsin. They'll probably be fine, won't they? Look, these people are putting their lives at risk for you to they're watch. They're getting six, Sunday. seven yeah. figures. But here's they're the guys in the they're military not, who are getting five defense. figures. Here's the defense. They used to play without helmets. And even if they knew that maybe this helmet was lighter and would make you faster, they're going to argue a lot of these players would have said, I don't care. Yes. I'm going to play anyway. Plus, I think this is a really tough case to prove, especially the class action aspect. A punter is different from a lineman. A, num uh, a, lineman. a number of these players have played for different amounts of time. They play different positions. I think this is in I, I, incredibly I, I, tough, I, I, even if it comes out that they were that they were lied I, to. And I, that's the issue at hand. Okay. Were they lied to okay, about let, the helmet? Let me, let me ask Dan a question, but I want I would like the people upstairs to please check this. Uh, our facts are our facts. Greg is absolutely wrong. I am dead right. And Dana, can, can, what's your view uh, about uh, this? I want to get Dana here, but, but you can both be right. The reason why you have life expectancy at 76 years old, you're taking data from helmets that were seven decades ago, yeah. five decades ago, whatever. So they may be dying now, but I'll bet you Greg is right where now, if you take the last five or seven Study years. Study done in 94, and absolutely. then just last January right. showed that. How do you say if everyone has the same injury, Dana, though? How Dana, do you prove Dana's that everyone has the same injury? an expert on this injury? field. Yeah. I want to hear what you uh, I am that. an expert in football. <laughs> um, also, I'm an expert in watching trial lawyers figure out how to do things like this and make money off of other people. Where is personal responsibility? Like, uh, if, if, they, if these helmets exist and you choose not to wear it, like, just like on, in states where there's no helmet law for motorcycle riding, if you choose not to wear one, then that's your choice. And I just don't understand the, why. The, the, they... the NFL mandates hip pads and thigh pads, certain kinds of shoes. Why well, do they and not if, mandate So if helmets? you go into, the, in, into football, you know what you're getting into, right? Well, you know you get into if you're getting inferior equipment. All right, Bob, do you think there's any football player coming out of college gets drafted and, and, and turns the deal down because mm -hmm. of the helm? Because there it there's is. A extra no, do, and do I think there's a do I think there's an owner of these football teams that gives a hell if these guys have concussions? They, no. Hey, you don't like the, don't do. blame they, the owners. It's not the owners. It, it is. They are a bunch of over it's not rich, fat the sons of owners. bitches. It's the NFL, Bob. It's a players' association against the NFL, not That's the owners. That's right, against the owners. That is the oh, NFL. That's wrong. Jeez, the NFL is the owners. Bob. It's not. They're yelling at you. It's not. <laughs> one more thing. <laughs> Just one. Next. You couldn't hear the mic.